While one number one overall pick is flourishing, another hits our cold card this week in spite of some massive news about his cards. We'll cover that and much more in this week's Top 5 Cards going up. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Top 5 Cards Going Up. My name is Tyler Nethercott, better known as Teapot. And this week, right away, before we jump right in, I need to let you know about a trade night this Saturday, March 9th, from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. right here at Cards HQ. Our last one was a huge success, so be sure to stop out if you are in the greater Atlanta area. And if you can't make it this time, that's okay. We're going to be hosting trade nights on the second Saturday of every month for the rest of 2024, so we hope to see you here at Cards HQ. And this week's top five is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot has awesome live auctions every day and night, starting at just $1 for packs, boxes, breaks, singles, and more. It's a lot of fun, and if you scan the QR code on your screen or use the special link in our show description below, you'll get $10 in free credit when you sign up for Whatnot. All right, now it's time to take a look at the overall sports card market with Market Pulse by Market Movers. Over the last seven days, the SCI 500 index of 500 of the most prominent sports cards is up 0.9%. Over the last 30 days, it is down 0.1%, and since January 1st of 2024, it is up 4.4%. The best performing category of cards over the last 30 days is football from 2010 to 2017, which is up 10.2%, and the worst performing category is soccer from 2010 to 2017, which is down 8.9%. Now, as a reminder, the cards you'll see in today's show have gone up in price recently, but they are not necessarily good investments right now. Always do your own research to decide which cards you think will go up in value next. All right, as you know, we like to start out the week with our investment card of the week. These are the cards that are a little more blue chip in nature, athletes who are established over time, and this week, it is Bo Jackson. Do you know Bo? He's undoubtedly one of the greatest overall athletes in the history of professional sports. He's an all-star in both MLB and NFL. And fun fact, Bo was drafted three different times in the MLB draft and twice in the NFL draft. Now, he won the Heisman at Auburn, and then he was drafted with the first overall pick in 1986 by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But he decided to go play for the Royals instead, which was the third time he had been selected in the MLB draft. Can you imagine taking a player with the first overall pick and then they don't play for you? Now, on a week when we saw Xavier Worthy break the official NFL Combine 40-yard dash record with a blistering 4.21 seconds, it is rumored, at least, that Bo once ran a 4.13, though the accuracy of the timing is debated. His entire card market is up 34.1% over the last 365 days. That's 50 cards, trading a total of 946 times. And today we're looking at his 1986 Topps traded PSA 10, Pop 1137. And you can see this card over the last 365 days has had really nice price movement, actually up 80.5% most recently with a nice high sale, at least assuming it got paid for on eBay. And so we see, you know, even recently, some of these sales around $696, hovering in that price range. Bo is certainly an athlete with a lot of mystique. For those who grew up in the 80s and early 90s, they know Bo, and you should know him too. He's our investment card of this week. All right, now it's time for our cold card. We always like to look at one player at least who's been trending downward in price. And this week, much to my surprise, it is Connor Bedard, the center for the Blackhawks, the first overall draft pick in the 2024 draft. He's regarded as one of the most talented prospects we've seen in years. He had nine goals in his first 13 games this year, and then he fractured his jaw in early January and missed five weeks. Since returning on February 15, he has two goals and six assists in eight games. And this is the big news. Huge, huge bounty just put out by David Adams of $1 million for his Series 2 Outburst Gold one of one young guns. Now this is the first year that they're doing those one of one young guns in upper deck and they're doing it for the right guy. It's expected that print runs are going to be through the moon on series two. So I wanna know down in the comments, are you gonna be bedard chasing? Are you gonna roll the dice and go for what are already pretty tough cards to hit in the base young guns to try to chase that $1 million bounty? Now all his cards as tracked and market movers are down by 11% collectively over the last week, it's on 13 different cards, totaling 67 sales. And here we're looking at, I have a theory about this, knowing that his card is coming out in upper deck, his actual Young Guns, that this early release NHL draft short print is actually starting to go down in value as people anticipate 
the card in hockey releasing. So if we look at over the last 90 days, this card down 28% on the raw version, down 45% on the PSA 10 version. Bedard is certainly cold for the moment, but will his card start heating back up again with the new release of Upper Deck Series 2? We will see. All right, now it's time to switch it over to our hot cards of the week. And at number five, it is Jason Tatum, the league leading best Boston Celtics. He's leading that team with 27.1 points per game. They just recently destroyed, and I mean destroyed, the Golden State Warriors. They were up something like 83 to 33 at halftime. That game finished at 140 to 88. It's the third largest win in franchise history, and the Celtics are the first team in history to win three games in a season by 50 points or more. It kind of seems like there might be something wrong with the NBA sometimes, but people are still loving Jason Tatum. Now, the Celtics are Vegas favorites for the titles this year at plus 200 to plus 300, depending on the betting site. And Tatum actually has the fifth best odds to win the MVP, though it does seem like somewhat of a long shot with Jokic, Giannis, Shea, and Luka all squarely out in front of him. His entire card market is pretty much flat over the last 14 days on 309 different cards, totaling 935 sales. But some of his cards have been starting to heat up, and it's more of the commodity cards as we are apt to see sometimes. So here's Tatum's PSA 10 base prism. This card is actually up uh, 67% over the last 30 days. His optic red and yellow PSA 10. For some reason, these cards tend to be a leading indicator from 2017. This card is up 22%, and his PSA 9 base prism up 20, uh, 28% over the last 30 days. There's no doubt about Tatum's talent. Will the Celtics actually put the run together with the additions of Porzingis and Drew Holiday and other players in the offseason? Remains to be seen. I think the playoffs are going to be competitive, and it's still anybody's game. But Tatum this week is our number five hot card. All right, at number four this week, it is the projected number one overall draft pick in the NFL draft, Caleb Williams. Now, there's drama surrounding Caleb Williams right now in that he decided he didn't want to share any of his medical records. He didn't want to throw. He didn't want to work out. He didn't really want to answer many questions. Overall, his attitude is being majorly called into question. He's sending out some major prima donna vibes. Now, he did win the 2022 NCAA Heisman Award, and he looked to be a favorite last year until my Fighting Irish held him to 199 yards with one touchdown and three interceptions, arguably the worst game of his college career. And he looked shook, as the kids say, after that game. USC went on to go 1-4 and four the rest of the season after that loss to Notre Dame. Nevertheless, his career college stats are very impressive. 93 touchdowns to just 14 interceptions over three years and over 10,000 passing yards. All of his cards as tracked by market movers are up 4.6% over the last two weeks. And we're looking at a couple cards in particular now. It's been fun seeing the impact that Bowman University is having on the football speculation market, knowing that it's a little bit different than the baseball game. We've talked about that on Cards on the Table and whether or not these cards could catch on for the long term. But what we do know is in the short term, they're the only cards available, and they've been pretty hot for Caleb Williams. So I'm looking at his Fuchsia Mini Diamond Refractor to 150 Raw. This card uh, is actually up 42% over the last 14 days, saw a really nice price bump. And his PSA 10 Bowman Chrome University Prospect First, this is POP 507 right now. This card's up to $78 most recently. That's a 44% increase. There's no doubt right now that Caleb Williams is... Well, he's in the conversation. Whether or not he's going to pan out and be a great team player remains to be seen. But this week, he's our number four hot card. All right, sliding in at number three this week, it is James Wood, the 62nd pick in the 2021 MLB draft. A towering six foot seven outfielder. He's just 21 years old. And his career minor league stats, pretty good. A 291 average, 41 home runs, and 175 RBIs with a 915 OPS in 231 games. Now, he is second on the Washington Nationals prospect rankings right now. Overall, thus far in spring training, he's 9 for 19 with three home runs and a stolen base. And all of his cards, as tracked by market movers, are up 14.9% over the last 14 days. It's on 66 different cards, totaling 396 sales. Now, if we look at, we've got a couple of his cards in particular. These are some of the ones moving initially as he's been hot in spring training. This is his 2022 Bowman Mega Box Chrome Prospects Mojo Refractor. These are always really nice looking cards. PSA 10, and this is Pop 1258. This card is up 44.8%, most recently having sold for around $61. And then we've got his uh, regular, you know, iconic Chrome Prospects first PSA 10, Pop 1566. This card most recently tra having transacted for $38. So 
Very affordable card there. This card is up 9% over the last couple of weeks. There's always certain cards that start to tr trickle up faster than others. And when you're speculating, that's why we like to look at a lot of these cards. They have trajectory, they move quickly. If he stays hot heading into the regular season or in the minors, then maybe we'll see more of his other autos trickle up. But so far this week, he's our number three card going up. All right, at number two this week, you had to expect that he was gonna be on the list. It's Victor Wembinyama, the first overall draft pick this year. Some say he's 7'4". He certainly looks even taller when he was dwarfing Chet Holmgren, who's 7'1 and very, very long. Wemby's having a stellar rookie season with 21 points per game, 10 rebounds, 3.4 blocks, 1.3 steals, and he just keeps getting better every month. He's already very much in the conversation for top defender in the NBA, and he shot 41% from three in February. That is terrifying, my friends. Up until that point, he had been one of the worst three-point shooters who was shooting at volume from three, and I myself was saying, take it to the post, Wemby, play more like Giannis, stop shooting threes and all of a sudden in February, it seems like the guy can't miss. Now, I used to make players like this guy back in NBA 2K in the 2000s. He's a complete cheat code, and his entire card market is up 8% over the last 14 days. We're looking at a couple of his cards in particular. This is his Prism Draft Picks Green PSA 10, very notable price, move, uh, price movement change here. Pop 248, this card is up 103%, $300 in the last 14 days. I'm not sure I would pay that for this particular car, but some people are obviously really excited about it. And then you've got the, the curtain, the infamous curtain image here. PSA 10, pop 154 in a PSA 10. We know that will go up for sure over time. And this card is up 39%, $505 for a base PSA 10 Wemby. Would you pay that kind of money for this guy? Well, we know he's really good. He seems like one of the future players in the NBA if he can stay healthy, and I'm certainly hoping for that. He's our number two card this week. All right, that brings us to our number one card this week. But before we do that, as always, this video is brought to you by Market Movers. Market Movers is rapidly approaching 3 million cards in our featured card database. Head over to the App Store and download Market Movers today and get started for your free seven-day trial. And without further ado, let's go to the number one hot card this week, and that is Spencer Jones, the 25th overall pick in the 2022 MLB Draft. And this is the Yankees effect. We saw it with Jason Dominguez. We've seen Juan Soto's cards heat up. We know that when players go to play in pinstripes, their card values can get really hot. And he is now the top Yankees prospect as of the end of last season after Jason Dominguez officially got called up. And he started out spring training five for five with a monstrous moonshot home run. Now, since then, he's just one for six in some limited at-bats. He has solid minor league stats so far with 20 homers in 142 games and an 810 OPS. But all of his cards and market movers are up 39.7% collectively over the last 14 days. If you use our free SCI app, he's been filling the top 10, top 15 rankings. And overall, 101 cards sold uh, for a total of 1,100 transactions over just the last two weeks. And I'm gonna shift over here and look at a few of his different cards. I've got his uh, Bowman, uh, Bowman Chrome Sapphire Prospect first, PSA 10, Pop 290, $153. That card is up 104%. Double your money in two weeks, not too bad. We've got his Bo uh, Bowman's Best, Best of 2023, Auto Raw. This card's up 188% over the last two weeks. And then we've got his Bowman Chrome Prospect Auto Refractor. That card in Raw is up 39% over the last two weeks as well. Spencer Jones, very hot right now. Maybe a little hotter than he deserves. Maybe that one flash in the pan game got people super excited. We'll see. The power hasn't been crazy in the minor leagues, but that home run he had was an absolute laser. We'll see what happens with Spencer Jones and the Yankees this season and if they can live up to the hype. He's our number one card going up this week. All right, that does it for this week's top five cards going up. Thanks so much as always for watching. Make sure to like this video. Leave us a comment down below if we missed anybody, if anybody stands out from this list. If you are in Atlanta this uh, Saturday, make sure to check out the card show, the trade, trade night that we're having here at Cards HQ. And make sure to download that Market Movers app to get seven days free as well as whatnot. We'll see you next week. Jeff will be back. Until then, happy investing, keep on collecting, and make sure to have fun.